Hi, if you're a TI user and you've never actually understood the difference between problems and pages and so you've never used it effectively, then you must watch this video. So here's our home screen. I'm just going to go and insert a new document. I'll say, no, I want a calculator page. I'm going to say a calculator page. When I say that, I see 1.1. The first one refers to problem one. The second one refers to page one. Okay, so this is a calculator page of problem number one. In order to insert a new page, there are several ways to do it. The shortcut is just pressing control and dock. And it'll give you that menu and you can add a graph page this time if you want to, okay? So I'll add a graph page and there you can see 1.2. So 1.1 was problem one, page one, a calculator page. 1.2 is problem one, page two. This time a graph page. In the same way, you can enter one more page, go to control doc and insert this time maybe a list and spreadsheet page. And so this is page three, which is a list and spreadsheet page under the same problem one. Now, if you want to insert a new problem, you will go to doc, insert problem. Okay, so when you hit that, you will get that same list that you saw and let's insert a calculator page again. So you see 2.1, that's problem number two, page number one. Let's go maneuver to our first, uh, and by the way, you can use the left and right, uh, uh, control left and right key. So control uh, right key will go to the uh, next page and control uh, right key again, we'll go to the uh, the following page. So if you hit control left, you can go to the previous page, okay? Uh, that way you can maneuver uh, to the different pages that you're adding and the different problems that you're adding. I'm using the software, so I'm just using the arrow from here. But if you're using the handheld, you can hit control arrow, the left or the right to maneuver between the different pages. So here 2.1 is problem one, page one. This is a calculator page. Likewise, let's insert another page under problem two. So I go and hit control doc and this time let's insert a graph page and this is 2.2. Problem two, page two. You might be wondering what's this big deal about problem and page. Keep watching. So I'm going to go to uh, problem one, page one, which is my calculator page. Okay. I'm going to define a function f of x using the assign key that's control and the key to the right hand side of nine colon equal to. I'm going to uh, define this function as let's just say a simple square function and so if I hit enter it must say done so this has now been recorded into the memory of the calculator that f of x is x square so if I enter f you can see it became bold that means the calculator is recognizing that f refers to x square so when I have to find the value of 0 0.1 f of 0 0.1 I just have to say f of 0 0.1 and when I hit enter it will evaluate that for me Okay, because the calculator is recognizing f as x squared has been stored in the memory of the calculator for that problem. Now, what's the cool part of this is if I go to 1.2, which is a graph page, but under the same problem, when I hit f, can you see it became bold? That means the calculator is recognizing that f refers to x squared, so that when I go here and I just say f of x and I hit enter, it will give me the graph of x squared. f of x is equal to x squared. Y is equal to x squared. Now notice, notice this cool thing. I go to this calculator page. I use my top arrow key. Remember in the previous video we saw, you can use the top arrow key and bring back an expression. So I can bring it back and if I just edit that expression and just make it, or well, let's keep it x square and just edit that expression to, let's say, uh, minus three times uh, x to the power of, let's say four. Okay, some strange thing. I just change that expression, brought it back with the f, okay? Again, it'll say done. And so f of x has been updated. Now, when I go to the graph page, notice the graph has changed already. You know, what has happened? That means these two pages, 1.1, 1.2, under the same problem are linked dynamically. It's a unique feature of the TI technology. So what you do on page one, also is linked directly dynamically with page two under the same problem. However, watch when I go to problem number two. I go to problem number two and here when I hit F, notice that that F does not become bold. That means the calculator recognizes F as something else on problem number one and F as something else as problem number two. So I can use the same letter F of X to define a new function. I go to control the key to the right hand side of nine, the assigned colon. 
And there, I can, this time I can enter a rational function. I can see that is x over, let's say, 2x minus 1. That's a new function. Hit enter, and that function has been defined here. And here, when I say f of 0 0.1, I, I get a new value because this is a new function. Now, why is this such a cool thing to have problems and pages, and why it is important that students must use this feature? It's because of this. At the time of the exam, when you are working out a different problem, you know what? You can insert a new problem. I'll, I'll show that again. You can go to document number four, insert a new problem. You do this for each question. Each question, try and insert a new problem. So that at the end of the exam, you're done with the exam and you're checking your work, you must also check your calculations. So what happens is that it's all organized. Problem number one, you know, you can insert two, three different graph pages if you want to. So if I have, when I was on uh, problem number two and I had a graph page here, I wanted to graph that here. So this, if I say just f of x, and there you go, you've got the graph of f of x. And so what happens is that at the time of the exam, every problem, every working, every calculation, whether it's a graph or any other calculation that you've been doing, you can actually check your work as it is. This is a really neat thing to have the different pages under the same problem being dynamically linked. What you do in a certain page is also linked. You, you can define something on the calculator page, you can do something on the graph page, on the listen spreadsheet page, and they're all dynamically linked. So if you've not already been using problems and pages, I strongly recommend that you start using it. And if you've already been using, let me know in the comments below how you've been using problems and pages. In the next video, we're going to talk about the calculator page. See you there.